Hey, Trey Veston here, and we're back down at the Idaho cabin, down at the shooting range, and we just built this beautiful new shooting bench. And firearms today in this video are going to be this beautiful Marlin 1894, chambered in 357 Magnum. And this is built by Ruger. This is one of the new models they put out, and they did an excellent job on this. You've seen this featured in earlier videos. And today I made an improvement on it. I added this Ranger Point Precision fiber optic sight, clover leaf pattern. And it's, uh, I like it. It's, it, the workmanship is excellent on it. It was 115 bucks bought directly from their website. They sent it out along with some decals, arrived quick, and it's awesome. So it's more of a ghost ring setup. So I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. The front sight is still stock. So we'll see how that see how that corresponds and performs at 25 yards. And also, we've got this 357 Magnum Smith & Wesson 686, empty of course, four inch barrel. And so what I'd like to do is chronograph two different loads. And the loads we've got are this Winchester I don't think they make these anymore. It's a 357 mag, 145 grain silver, silver tip hollow point. Their personal protection lineup. This is a really, really cool bullet design. Very pretty. And this, I have no idea how old these are, but at $40.95 for 50, those are 90s prices. So these are probably pretty old. And then the other... The other round I'm going to try out, I just bought these brand new off the shelf. These are Federal, the American Eagle, 158 grain um, jacketed soft point. And yeah, so it'll be interesting to see the velocity differences between the 4 inch barrel and 18 inch barrel and just see how much energy you gain with the carbine. And, uh, and yeah, so and these for a box of 50 were $35 for the uh, the non-premium ammo for the American Eagle brand. So prices are just crazy on ammo. So next time I'll do some more reloading. So all right, let's get to shooting. See what the uh, what the numbers show us, and I'll see how I like these ghost ring sights and if I can hit anything with them. All righty. Okay, first shots, 25 yards. We are using the Federal 357 Magnum, 158 grain. And these are rated on the box. There we go. Velocity, 1240 feet per second at the muzzle. That's 539 foot-pounds of energy. So and that's 1240 is what they're saying. Let's see how they do in an 18 inch carbine. And let's just go for the middle of the head. Oh, let's take our safety off. Now oh, yeah, let's go middle between the two rivets on there. Let's see, that's a little low. First shot. Huh, we did not record a shot. Alrighty, let's try again. I had it set to between 600 and 1500 feet per second, or 1700, I can't remember what it was, but I think these are going to be going way, way faster. So let's see if the gold Garmin will work. It's set up correctly. Analyzing shot up. Oh, yep. That was the problem 1863.8 feet per second Next shot 1834 
1848. Should be the last shot. Eighteen fifty, and we are dry. So there we go. So the average is going to be eighteen hundred and fifty-three feet per second out of the carbine, and these were rated at that's twelve something, twelve hundred and forty feet per second, and we're actually getting eighteen fifty-three. So there you go, a little over six hundred, six hundred and ten feet per second faster out of the carbine but that's what the box is rated at so let's fire five rounds through the uh the four inch barrel the 686 and see how it does okay here we go we've got the the good old smith wesson 686 loaded up with the same rounds we got the the uh chronograph recalibrated <clears throat> and we'll aim at the the head, we're at 25 yards. Yeah, I missed. How could you miss? And first shot, 1282. There we go. Now we're cooking with the gas. 1273.8. Ooh, another shot dead on. 1302. Ooh, and it hit. Wow, we're getting them all in one little tiny group. That was 1335. These are getting hotter. Oh, I flubbed that one by an inch. 1310. Da, da, da. Is that five shots? Yes, it was. Oh, yeah, it says five shots. Derp. All righty, so our average on that is 1,300 feet per second. Still higher than the 1240 these are rated at. And... It's like five, it's about 500 feet per second faster. So interesting. Let's see if it's the same for these, uh, these ancient silver tips. Okay, we are loaded up with these ancient Winchester 357 Magnum 145 grain silver tip, silver tip HPs. They are not, they don't give a feet per second or anything on these application guide boy these are old super x okay and since we've got everything set up for the pistol we'll continue to use the pistol all righty 25 yards and we'll I, I checked the group and it was, I think it was just about two inches offhand or with this cheesy rest at 25 yards. So not bad. Let's see if these can do any better. Oh, holy crap. Those are potent. 1336.5. And it hit dead center. Okay, there, now I've got my elevation correct. 1326.5. Oh, that went off to the right. These, pistol doesn't like these as much. 1293.2. For the third shot. And it went low and to the right. Got a perfect square down there at 1247.7. And went down a little bit lower, 1310.3. Alrighty. So average, 
1302.8. Alrighty, let's try the rifle. Okay, we've got the old Garmin reset up right when the sun comes out <laughs> and is blinding me. Alrighty, oh well. Hopefully this group will be good. Alrighty, again, 145 grain silver tip HPs. I think we did an average of 1300 feet per second in the four inch Smith & Wesson. And we did a horrible group. It's like a six inch group at 25 yards. That's not bueno. So let's try the rifle. Safety off. And these are hitting low just like the uh the other rounds so yeah it looks like i need to bring that adjust that side up a little bit won't worry about it for now and that was 1875 so that's 575 feet per second faster wow And these are grouping well in the rifle. 1909.6. And I can tell you the powder, the smell of the powder in these is a funky smell. These are old, old rounds. Well, 30 something years. Yeah, they are grouping nice. 1919.6, getting faster and faster. Nineteen oh one point eight, and last shot. And eighteen ninety three. And we're good. So that's an average of 1899.9, so we'll call it 1900 feet per second. The other ones were 1302, call that 1300. So that's 600 feet per second faster out of this carbine. Hmm, interesting. Well, that concludes another successful range session in that nobody got shot and no guns blew up. So that's a win in my book. And we did have some interesting results in comparing the feet per second between the 18-inch barrel and the 4-inch barrel. And obviously, longer is better. That's what she said. Sorry, it's inappropriate. Can't help it. So, yeah, we'll have the final numbers popping up here. Where we'll show the performance of the, the uh, Federal 158 grains in the 4-inch barrel versus the 18-inch barrel, the different speeds and how much energy we gained. And then we'll go and show the Winchester silver tips, 145 grain, and see how much uh, speeds benefited with those. It was crazy. It's like over 600 feet per second. So, And I wonder how many foot-pounds of energy that's going to be. It's math. Hmm. Well, it'll be up here. All righty. Well, thanks for watching. And... Uh, subscribe for more fun little videos and reviewing some things and oh and the sights yeah let's uh ranger point precision sights i i'm not used to a ghost ring sight i liked a little bit more of a precision sight but i was actually getting you know pretty small groups uh well i mean at 25 yards with the rifle it should be you know an inch or so and we're getting i just think just under two inch so it's not exactly precision, but they, they're accurate enough and for a woods gun and for what it's going to be used for, for jeeping and stuff. And I mean, it's, they're going to be great. They're well protected and yeah, I like them. They look cool. So thumbs up on the, the Ranger Point Precision Sights. Alrighty, Trey Vesson out and uh, we'll see you next time.